What's up, everyone? Nethervoid back with more Dyson Sphere program for you. Episode 16. I've been recording the hell out of this the last couple of days because I just, I'm really having a lot of fun. So I'm way ahead on episodes, actually. I think episode 5 just released and I'm doing 16. So I'm probably not going to double up, but I'm just going to um, keep recording and probably, I might record a different game in the meantime while these kind of all play out. So maybe you'll start getting two games or I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, I was right in the middle of the oil build, oil refining, as you can see here. Let's finish that up. We we're just popping in the regular inserters on the uh, inside here. They're really the most complicated piece. So, why well, don't... That's not inserter, is it? So, we were just doing this. And I want this to go to this outside and that to go to this outside. This is a really weird um, way to do these things. Um, it's really a little bit harder when you have two belt or two belts like this, so it's going to take me a little bit to get used to it. And you can see the curvature of the Earth kind of playing a, a little bit of a um, part in this whole thing, but it is what it is. Again, it's kind of the part of the cool features of the game here. Um, there is another way to build called God Mode, which I have heard about, and I just don't know if I'm ever going to like it. We got some hydrogen popping out, you can see right there. But anyway, it's supposed to be, and then we'll get all these inputs in, um, it's supposed to make it easier to build. So we'll see, I think, eventually. And that's not where I want that. That's really not where I want that. Let's, let's get this, let's get this thing fixed first. Nope. Shift click. Nope. Let's get this fixed. Um, let's get these inserters in. I'm just going to have to walk by this thing so I can do this correctly. There's the center, because I want these in the center, and you know, you know me, you know how I am, I'm a stickler for perfection, it's really, I mean, I don't have to have that, it's just, I like it a lot better. I'm much more happy with the build when it's exactly the way I want, when everything is kind of balanced, even stuff that really doesn't matter, like as you're seeing here, like that is not what I want. So I'd really like it to be in the middle. Again, not that it really matters, but it is what it is. Okay, so we've got that done. Ooh, here's something in interesting. We're going to have to split these. So it's a good thing I'm, I, I thought of that. Why don't we put a splitter here for one of these? Because I don't like going up and over. I just don't like it. I'd much rather have a splitter. So let's change the orientation of the splitter here. It, this one will be going like so which means it's going to have to go like that. And then the other one is going to have to go two over, right? But it can go here, actually. That works. And then we're going to have... But I... No, nah, let's do it. Let's do it um, back here so that they're even. And then we've got another splitter, but this one is going to be ground level because it's going to go right here. We'll just put it here just because it's easier. Boom. Again, I really just prefer splitters when we're dealing with this kind of stuff. So this is going to go in the back, and then it's going to go out the side, up to here, out this side, up to here, and then with these guys, let's set up the tanks first, I guess. So that we're going to tank this stuff, and I think we're going to tank it in the direction we want to take it out, which will probably be that direction at first. So let's get a few more tanks. I think we already have one. We need three more tanks. Let's please three more of those real quick. I don't think we will probably need this much space, but it's one of those things that you just want to keep going with it, and you really don't want the production to stop you up. So why don't we do... These are... It's the same... It doesn't really matter where you put them. Let's put one there, and then we'll put one here. And then we're going to belt these guys in. But first... Wait, we can't do that because we're going to need splitters to come back down. So that splits up. Let's copy a splitter here and bring it back down. Yeah, we'll bring it back down like that, and we'll bring this one down like so. Well, first let's get let's get these guys in first to see how much space we need. All right. So we're probably gonna want that much space. That'll tell us where to put this other splitter. It's gonna go like that. It goes right there. I just, think, I just like the splitters. They just look much more clean. It's much a much more clean look. I don't have to go up and down and like jack and mess around with it. Go in the, the bottom one. There you go. Same thing with this guy. Into that bottom one. Straight from here. 
And we're going to just... Nope, that's not where I want it. I don't know why you would put something there. Okay, let's just get these guys going. Nope. Oh, that's right. This guy... Nope, nope. Why, why are you doing this to me? <laughs> this guy's going to go like that. This guy is going to go like this. And then, boom, we've got production. And we didn't filter him correctly. So let's kill this. Not filtered correctly. Hmm. Well, with this, we actually could have done this a completely different way. We probably should filter these guys, though. Why don't we cut this? Let's make it so they don't do more of this, because we really cannot... We can't do this, man. Because I can't put stuff in here. Look how I, I can't... When I do E, I can't open them both up, so I'm not sh exactly sure how I'm supposed to put this in there. Oh, I guess like that? Does it not go in that one? I thought that was the one it goes into. Storage tank, it's empty. Okay, this has it. Right, so if I go like this, and I pick this up, and I go like that... Okay, can I put it in there? Why can't I? That's strange. I can't. Why can't I just put it right in there? I can't. I can't put it in there. Could I put it in this guy? Yeah. Well, I think. There you go. It can't. It won't go in there because it's full. Well, let's just delete. All right. So we screwed that up. I could have filtered these, and I didn't. So let's get the filtering on these things. Let's go, um, no, not conveyor belt. We want inserters. Can we, can we touch the inserter here? Or is it just conveyor belts? Why don't we just pick all these up? Because I'm going to need to do these splitters. And there's a way to copy them, too, so I probably should have done that. We don't need to pick up the belts if we can literally just pick the inserters up. That's really what I'm, see how you can't, it's very difficult to get, oh, that's because it's on this side. Okay. Well, at least these are empty. Why don't we pick up these belts so we can empty the belts out themselves? There we go. Now we can redraw the belts. Let's get that going so the um, dudes have something to do. The bots, right? Let's give the bots some work. Why did that not work? Okay. Now let's get rid of these guys. Because we need to filter these. That was a really noob mistake. And the filtering on this, the copy-paste might not work exactly. You know what I'm going to have to do? Why Why can't I just... There we go. Um, I might have to copy-paste the splitters so that I can keep the filtering. Oh, man, my posture's bad again. Oh, well, that's, that's how the cookie crumbles on that. Good thing we can literally just do this. There we go. I just have to put another splitter in there, which is no big deal. Okay. All right, so these, oh, these don't have power, which was perfect. We had not powered these yet. So let's get these guys set up. Let's do hydrogen on this belt, I guess. So let's get a splitter. So we're going to do this the same, but what we're going to do is we're going to filter it on hydrogen. Boom. Okay. Now we're going to copy this guy. And that means this guy is going to go there too, because I think that's going to be hydrogen. Yep, it's filtered to hydrogen. So let's copy this guy and just do the hydrogens, right, to one belt, which is what I should have done in the beginning. I noobed it up. And we're, we're going to double check these just to make sure that they're on the right belts now. And then I think we, we're just going to have to throw some of this stuff away. In fact, well, for hydrogen, we might be able to keep some of that, but it's literally just not much, so it's probably not worth it. There we go. So those splitters are correct. Now let's get the other splitters in. Or inserters, sorry. Sorters, whatever you want to say. That's going on the inside, but it's not hydrogen. It is going to be set to refined fuel. Because that's what we have coming out. So that means this guy is going to go there. So we got this guy here, refined fuel on this other belt, which is sweet. Because you can actually use the sort the um, splitters to to filter your stuff. I just think it's a lot easier to filter it coming directly out of the um, out of the machines. I just it just makes more sense. 
because then you have to you end up splitting a bunch of belts going all over the place. Um, and I think we were just going to do this because there really is no other way to do this in a nice, easy way. This one, we don't have to do as much, but we're going to have to kill these belts too. Let's just kill the splitters and everything, which just makes it, I think, a lot easier. So I bet you, hopefully we have hydrogen in this one. We do. So that means the hydrogen, okay, is going over here, and, the, and the, this is going to be refined oils. So that's actually kind of perfect. Let's copy this guy. Because so, he's all... Oh, wait. That's going to start them. Let's not do that yet. Let's let's copy the splitters. Is it correct orientation here? It is. So this is going to be hydrogen. And this one is going to be this other dude. Whatever that is. Is that... Yeah, that looks right. I think that's how we had him. Yep. All right. So let's try to run this and make sure it works before I get too happy about it. There, let's try to run this and see what happens. It worked! Cool. Alright, now let's get this hydrogen hooked up, because I'm a newbie. Let's fi finish the noob fix here. Like that. Then I can turn these things on, and we can actually have this the spice flowing. Okay, bots, let's go. Let's do this. All right, now let's finish the build by connecting to oil. There we go. How much oil do we have saved up anyway? Ooh, a good amount, see? 5,000. Now, you, as you can see, it's moving down. We're not, two two uh, plants is really not enough. But it's working nice now. And we get how much? We get like... Okay, we get two of those. We get two of these for every one hydrogen. So right now, our blockage really is the refined oil. But that's okay. Our tanks are going to allow us to have billions of this stuff. So now we're going to have to pipe this all the way back. And this is something we won't have to do in the future because there's actually a way to move stuff around on the planet without having to pipe stuff all over the place. Where is this thing, though? Where are we going? So it looks like, oh, we haven't hooked everything up. We'll, we'll get this hooked up in a second. We're going to come all the way over to here, and then we'll go straight up into here-ish, or maybe up the backside would probably be better, because we don't have a lot of products that, that need this. We'll probably want to do a splitter right over that guy. All right, so let's run it along here. Let's just run the hydrogen directly out. First, let's get powered all these guys before we leave, because I don't want to make that mistake. So let's power all these. This should power everybody now. Everybody should be happy. And now the power, the oil is really going to run out. I don't even know if we can keep this many going. The belt might not even be able to keep up. I think this is actually just good enough. Because remember, we're splitting that belt. We can actually draw another one out if we needed to. If this doesn't keep up, which I think it will, so I think we're okay because this is every, what, four seconds, we should be good to go now. All right, let's draw out our hydrogen. Let's get that sucker moving, and we're really going to want to do a huge belt all the way over to here. Let's let the bots work on this section over here, get our hydrogen for our red science, and maybe we can get red science, you know, automated in this episode, episode, I think, 16. That'd be nice. Also, if you like this content and you're new here, please subscribe, hit that notification bell. I always forget to say that till the end of the video, but if you like these videos, I'll be doing more stuff, probably a Factorio Season 3 coming up, other games that are builder builder games like this. Um, I just do a lot of building type games. Um, sometimes maybe some other games will be popping up, but uh, for now, really, I'm good with what I'm doing now. I don't know when those other games will come up. I actually have on my radar to start looking at um, games coming up in the future so I can make sure that uh, they, go, they go on my calendar. Um, let's see. Well, how am I doing on power? For, oh man. Okay. Before I start flying, let's let's get the power going. Um, but I'm gonna start looking ahead. I know I do want to probably play Kerbal Space Program too. This is probably a bad idea because I'm too high now for the bots. This is much better. Um, Kerbal Space Program Program Two is on my radar. I wanted to play number one modded, but I was way behind on that. I think I was. It came out three years before I started doing building games, and so I just couldn't. Didn't feel like I could get enough traction with it, so I decided not to do it. Um, let's just get more of this line in. We're gonna come take it way over here. 
This is also getting us a lot more soil, I think. Or does belt get you any soil? Because that soil is used um, for landfill later on. So I kind of want to... It would really be nice to get some of that. Okay, there's the last part of that belt. See, there's a little bit of soil. It's because we were over water. It's not a lot, but it's some. And we need thousands of that every time we do stuff. So let's go over here and figure out where our splitter is going to go. I think we're going to end up moving this guy. That's what we're going to end up doing. So let's let's look at, at getting something right here. There we go. Then we can put a splitter in here and just run this guy right up along here. Let's get a splitter to go over this. Can we do it right here? We probably will want to do it in a different direction too, like that. Actually, that's that's perfect. But that's it's got to go in right there. Let's move this guy. Got to be really careful with that because what we just did is kill the power for that whole operation over there. The whole operation on that side just got the power killed because we got that single point of failure right there. We're going to run the red directly into here. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to run a line here. Really only need output, maybe this much output. We're going to run it directly along here. And so this guy, hopefully we can get another splitter in right over this. Yeah, that looks that looks good. I like that. This is going to look a little funky, but this is how we're going to do it. Actually, we can do it just... Can we do it right there? We cannot. That's okay. Let's draw it like this. We're going to run it in like that, all the way into there. That's where our hydrogen is going to run in. Let's uh, get this belt going. We'll get the inserters in in a second here. Cool, we'll just fly over here. because. Alright, so there's our hydrogen coming from halfway across the planet. Let's get this rock. We, you know what we didn't get? While we're here, let's go get it. We didn't get our box. No, seriously, fly. Let's go get our box before we get too far away from this thing. We're just about to get red science, so that'd be that's pretty awesome. Are we close enough? Are we close enough? Oh, we could have done it from over there. Remember, we can do this from anywhere. All right, let's go over here and fix up. Oh, that looks so cool. That's just so neat. That's one thing I do like about the, the smaller planets like that, or the smaller surfaces, is I do like that um, you get to see the planets in the planetscape like that. That's really cool. That is just really cool. All right, let's get this built out. Um, I don't know where this line's going. Why don't we see if we can figure it out? We aren't having it come across the top. We are having it on the bottom, aren't we? So I think it should go in right there. Would, would this work? I think it would. Boom. So that means we can do this. All right. Let's do it, bots. Robots, or <laughs> builder bots, roll out. Construction bots, I don't know what you call these. Construction bots, that's what we're going to... Construction bots, roll out. That's pretty geeky, but whatever. Now, I could have just gone up and over this thing, but again, I don't like that. So we're doing it this way. All right, that's our final product. Let's get some really fast, awesome, not conveyor belts. Let's get these guys, and let's make some red science, guys, finally. There we go, red science, science, red science, not being pulled out. Let's pull it out of here now. We can actually start building, doing some red science. Look at that. Oh, wait, put it, <laughs> we always think, don't get ahead of yourselves, dude. There we go. Nice, red science is in there now. Now let's go on the tech tree and pick some stuff. We got 10 more minutes, man. What do we want? Well, we're going to want these, right? Probably not right away. Whoa, 400. Oh, I didn't want that. 400 blue. What do we want first? Probably belts, right? Probably belts, and that gives us inserters too as well. But we're, before that, we're going to need the engines anyway. So why don't we just get the engines? That just gets us deuter deuterium, which is actually used for a new fuel coming up. Why don't we get this first? Well, wait. We can get bots. Nah, we'll get this because we can actually start producing things. Why isn't science? Oh, it is. Okay. It's just going slowly because we need way more blue science than red. So that actually helps us in the short term. Let's queue up this uh, logistics piece next. This is titanium smelting. That's going to get us when we get to a different planet. 
But I think what we need first... That stores energy. What's this guy do? Okay, that's just more component stuff. Some more component stuff. That's going to be for yellow science. X-ray cracking is a better way to get hydrogen, I believe. That's the next fuel. That's literally just for mech fuel. Um, so we'll be getting that eventually. But why don't we go... Why don't we look at upgrades? Because now we can get... I want to go off-world. So here we've got... Able to view the veins distributed on the planet. Okay, cool. Able to view the veins in the whole planetary system. That's neat. Oh, we could have got we could have already gotten that. Oh wow. Okay, that's it's just exploration. So that's MJ's inventory capacity. Really what we want. Drive engine. What's this? Unlocks mecha flight. What's this? Unlocks mecha sail. This is gonna let us go to other planets. Acquire core two? So let's get core two. What's energy circuit? Mecha fuel power. New extra bots. Core two. Let's get that. In fact, we could probably get that sooner, but that's okay. Then we're going to get drive engine for mecha sail. Double press space to lift off. Hold arrow keys with space in flight mode, which will activate sail mode at a certain altitude. So that means you can actually get into this really fast mode and go to other planets. That's going to be the next thing we do. This stuff is a little bit more advanced. Vertical construction, we could... Oh, well, I don't want... No, I'm not going to spend 400 science on that. This is a little bit better for mining speed and less consumption. So what this does is it lets your... Really, this is for oil, in my opinion. That speeds up your oil processing. Um, it gets way faster that way. Uh, that's right, we don't need that. Here's the next engine down here, um, which is going to be used for um, the next level of logistics, basically. Um, this is not bad to get because, well, that's a lot of red science. Why, why does that not just get me out of what I'm looking at? Processor, again, we don't need these just yet. We're just going to get the things that we need. Titanium smelting is a good idea because I think we need it that's just a bigger box. I don't know why we would care about that. The, the stacking box is just fine. Planetary logistics. This will let you move stuff around on your current planet um, without using belts. We'd probably do that with hydrogen. In fact, we'll probably end up doing that. Uh, we need processors, some different engines, and some different stuff. Wow, we need iron for that? That's interesting. We need steel there. That makes sense. And that's titanium. Unless this is titanium. No, that's iron. This is titanium. So, again, the, I think you need Mark III engines to do that. So that's kind of a ways away. I also think this might be yellow science. No, it's red science. So that's it's interesting that with red science you get two different belt unlocks. Why would you ever make belt two and, and accept to make belt three? Um, so that's weird. What do you need for belt three? What, what is, uh, what's the material for belt three? Titanium? No, just the engine. That's it. What do you need for engine two? Because we're about to make Engine 2. Engine 2 is Engine 1 and Magnetic Coil. We already have that. Super, super simple. Every two seconds, too. So it's not even... You don't even have to do anything fast. In fact, let's start setting that up. Because it's about to be done. Let's start setting up Engine 2, Mark 2. We already have a place for it right here. Because literally, Engine 1 only makes, I think, two items, right? Even when we put it on a bus, I don't know why we need to. It really only makes two things. So, why don't we get that going? Let's get this, because we want to know what... Like, let's look at what we're going to need to do to produce it. It's two engines, two magnetic coils, so it doesn't matter which way we do it, and every two seconds, which means it's one second a piece, which I think means we're going to need a long... For the, the one that's grabbing over two belts, we're going to want... Where's our two belt? Oh, right there. How fast is this guy going? Oh, faster than one second per trip, which means the other one will be less than one second per trip, or less than one trip per second, so that's too slow. So I think first thing we're going to do is probably just pull out of this guy immediate. Well, no, because he's going to need some space. He's not going to be able to split off right away. We can split off this guy, though, a little bit easier. Let's flip it, because it's going to come in right there, and then this guy is going to be right there there but he's not gonna be able to go around them so why don't we move this we can move that back 
Remember how we said we moving it back is better than moving it forward? Moving it to where there's probably more space. So why don't we just start getting these ready? Let's get this ready. Nope. Why would it go down? Oh, because it's wrong. That's why. Oh, I hate when it does that, but that's okay. All right, let's uh, copy this. Let's do this again. Nope. Copy this. Copy the splitter, please. Is that correct? No, that is. Okay. That'll run it outside. Now I can copy the belt and go like this. Copy belt. I should have done that first. We're going to go underneath with this thing, right? And then right when we get past this, I'm going to go in one and run it all the way up here. Let's get that tree before we get too far. Let's get all the trees in this area. Hopefully that we're going to get some of those crystals. We do have some organic crystals. We also have this, which we don't want. We don't want any of this stuff. Let's delete. We don't want any hydrogen. Actually, you can burn hydrogen for fuel. So let's see if we... We don't really need any fuel. Let's burn the hydrogen first. How many MJs does it do? Eight? This does a lot. Oh, six. It actually burns a lot longer than, than the other one. Cool. Now we've got Mark II engines. Let's get rid of this stuff. We're just about ready to be done with this build, actually. I mean, we just got the thing. It's kind of neat that our build is almost done already. Let's copy this guy. We're going to need probably a lot of these. We're going to need to expand these almost immediately. Components. Mark II engines. Copy that. And then we need fast inserters on the um, secondary belt, but we only need this regular inserters on the inside. When we get the Mark II... Um, assembly machines will need something faster, but for now this is fine. This is definitely going to be boxed for sure. And the output's going to have to be really, really fast. So, um, actually this is too far. We don't need all that. That's too much. I know now we have a lot of extra junk in our inventory probably. Alright, uh, let's get this in there so we can finish up this build. Um, we're already done with this. Isn't this awesome? No, I said copy. It didn't want to. Okay, copy. Thanks. Copy the box. Thanks. Um, more belt. More belts! We're going to be able to burst the heck out of this thing. It's going straight onto the to the, to the uh, bus. And I bet you we're going to put it right here because now we don't need Mark 1 engines. Mark 2 engines will be on the bus right here. Let's copy this, actually. Nope, copy the splitter. Okay, there we go, and I bet you we have to turn it, because it loves to do that to us. That's as close as we can get it. So let's just put it right on the belt right now, or on the bus, because I know we're going to need it on the bus. Now let's get... How fast are these things? One every two seconds? Man, that is slow. We're going to have to double this up, like, immediately. We're going to need we're gonna need this to be doubled up, because we have so many things that use these. And we're going to need two fast inserters right off right just right away in fact we need them on oh, 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 oh that's not what we want where's the sort the sorter two did i get sorter twos yep there we go sorter twos on the bus or i mean mark two engines on the bus let's let's get um Let's clean up this a little bit so we can expand. We're all, I'm just going to expand right out to, to four assemblers right away because we're going to use these like they're going out of style. The engines get consumed so fast. So let me just copy this. We're going to go out twice again. And then we're going to need a power pole, so let's just copy that. Because we're going we're gonna to use these so much. I mean, this is one of those things that I already know uh, is just it's used a lot. So let's do that. Let's copy this guy, Sorter 2, and the Sorter 2 is going to be here. And then we're going to copy Sorter 1s. Alright, we got increased capacity almost right away. Perfect. Well, right away. Because we just started this build. Sorter 1s. Boom. That's how it's done, guys. Sweet! Engine 2's on the bus. Perfect. 
now, well, we, we're not going to do anything on this episode because we are at time. So that's episode, I don't know, what episode is this? 17 now or 16? I gotta go look. This is episode 16. That's how many I've done today. I think I've done like six of these at least. I'm having a lot of fun though. But it's that easy. Our bus, I love our bus. While it's kind of screwing up a little bit. What is going on? Is our power? Oh wow, we need, okay, let's go turn on that other production line. Because our power is jacking with us. Oh, that's kind of neat that it like warns you. If you have your power set up, which I think is this guy, if you have that off, you can't tell, see? Oh, it blinks a little bit? I'd rather have it like this. That's kind of neat. I like that. Let's go hook our second line of dudes up over here. And then we will be done. So we got to do this. This is very simple. There we go. Boom. Let's see what we get out of this. I think this is probably because we're running all those, uh, we're running a lot of chemical plants, right? They're not chemical plants, they're oil refineries or something. We're still barely cutting it. We're at 75%. We're gonna need more, we're gonna need more, um, power soon. Those guys are not gonna be able to do it. So pretty soon though, we're gonna get Dyson, uh, swarm power, which is like, wind sails around your sun or around your star that pick up energy for you we're going to be getting that soon why don't we drop off how many of these do we have six why don't we get like a half stack while we're here why don't we get some of these guys too we get like another half stack of those while we're here cool and while we're over there we should have dropped off all the stuff we got in our box huh Hey, yeah, we're a little over the time, but you know me, I don't care about that. Really neat. We need those second belts so we can up... Because we really need to upgrade our, our smeltery. And now we can do it because we're going to have the better belts. Because now we already have Mark II engines, which makes better belts. So the next episode, we're going to be doing better belts. That's what we're going to be doing. Mark II belts. Then we're going to upgrade our smelteries, expand everything. So the capacity is higher. And then we're going to probably shoot try to shoot for um going off planet pretty soon after that um yep we're gonna have mark two belts right there so we're, this is gonna come over and we're gonna get this guy on the bus here and then we're gonna do it that's gonna be it we're gonna be done cool anyway let me know what you think in the comment section like this video if you did like it subscribe and hit the notification bell just like i always say i will see you on episode 17 stay frosty